Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to look at the new AI Magic Mask tool in Resolve 20. This is a big change for the Magic Mask tool, and you'll see that it's so simple to use, changing the color of objects in the picture or even people, so much easier. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we've got our clip loaded here. And as you can see, we're playing it through. And then we're going to do a little grade on it here. Once we're happy with that, then let's go over and add the second node. Okay, now we've got our second node in, we'll come over to Magic Mask, and we just come over and actually tap on the jacket that we want to isolate, come to highlight, there you can see it's highlighted, it's picked up the whole jacket automatically, and now we're going to do our tracking for that. Now this is the beta version of Resolve 20. So you'll notice there is a little bug in here where you'll see the speed of the tracking. It will say, sometimes it says one frame per second or sometimes zero, but it's much faster than that. Now you see, now it's finished. And then you can see before and after, and then we can come over and do our correction inside. So we've given him a lavender blazer now. Now I wanna do another uh, correction for his face. Now you see there's no longer a face or object button in Magic Mask. It automatically detects this. You can see here, it just by tapping on it, it very easily picked up the whole face and then it goes through and tracks it through. Now for items that you may have missed, there's a uh, paintbrush tool that we'll have a look at later. That allows us to brush in things that may have been missed, for example. So you can see here it's doing the tracking with the highlight enabled. It's done now. You can see the green checkbox and you can see we're playing back through this. Turn off highlight, and now let's apply our correction. And so I've done some primary correction. I'm going to do a little soft clipping in there because it's a little harsh on the highlights there. Let's soften that down a little bit. Let's bring that down. Okay, that looks good to me. There we have our fine finish correction. You can see that's before. And that's after. Now, as you can see, this is the paintbrush option for painting in things that have been missed. And then you can come over here and you can change the um, 
size of the brush and then you also of course have your matte finesse controls that are there as well. You also have an invert button, which you didn't have before, so you can actually invert the effect of the magic mask that was created. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to my Patreon. There are a lot of great perks there. Check out the other videos in my channel. There's a lot of great tips and tricks there. And also, please remember to subscribe so you'll be alerted to all the upcoming videos. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Thanks a lot for watching.